I'm muted. There we go. Now I'm no longer muted. Hello, everyone, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another stream. Where we're going to continue on where we left off with Sonic Adventure DX. With Tails' storyline. So let's just delve right on in. Bloody hell. <laughs> thank you for the cheeky sub. You absolute mad lass. Thank you, thank you. God, everyone, everyone in the chat's talking about McDonald's. It makes me really want to get one. But I'm on a bit of a fast food, I guess, cut out right now. Because I'm spending too much money on fast food and takeaways. So I need to kind of stop, essentially. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I love Tails' story in this game. So Tails' story is kind of cool in that, for the most part, it's like an abridged version of the same story Sonic goes through. And everything about Tails' story is a lot more faster paced than Nippy. In fact, this is one of my favorite. This was my favorite, I should say, when I was a kid. I used to love playing through Tails' story on repeat over and over and over again, because... I just love how fast you can crank through the levels. It's absolutely mental. I remember in this game how OP Tails was with the race against Sonic. Oh yeah, it just Tails is ridiculous. You can skip almost the entire levels with him. It's great fun. How oh, the heck are you in a dressing gun in this seat? Good lawn so you not feel the temperature. I am actually freezing. <laughs> Uh, basically, I've had the windows open all day, and I was warm earlier on, but the temperature has, like, completely dropped off for me now, so I, I had to put this on, essentially. It's been crazy. Jeez Louise, thank you for the cheeky sub, you absolute mad lad. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh. To be fair, it's been much cooler this week compared to the other week. I don't know, I've been finding the temperatures all over the place. Like, some days have been really cold, other days have been bloody scalding. Uh, it's kind of like today, for example, earlier on, I was boiling. Then about halfway through the day, it got really cold for me. It's very strange. Oh, goodness gracious. He hasn't cooled down there at all. Oh, no. Your balls hurt. Hello? <laughs> Oh, gosh. But anyway, yeah, this is Tails' story of Sonic Adventure. And Tails, well, controls mostly like Sonic does, but he can fly. And I don't know if this is fixed, but I know in one version of the game, if you fly in one of the corners of this specific building, you can actually clip out of bounds quite easily. I remember I used to do it all the time on the GameCube. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it here. I think it's probably been fixed on the version of the game I'm running, but yeah, that was a, that was a fun thing that I used to do when I was younger. I used to like going through the walls and what have you. Ah, uh, but I digress. So this is on PC. Yep, this is a modded version on PC. It's using the Sonic Adventure mod loader, which comes pre-installed with a bunch of mods to re-add a bunch of the Dreamcast graphical effects, fix up all of the bugs the game has, and basically just makes it a much better time. Uh, it's, it's splendid. This, this is my go-to way of playing Sonic Adventure, that, honestly. It just... It looks amazing. It plays amazing. All in all, it's amazing. What can I tell ya? Oh, it was like 16 degrees earlier, and now it's nearly 10 degrees. Yeah, it has definitely dropped off a lot. Definitely has. Ah, oh, goodness. You had to snap the other day so your balls have been swollen and hurt. Oh, no! Ooh, be sure to rest up then. E. Oh, God, yeah, I bet you're really sore. Oh, and thank you for the cheeky bitty. Oh, goodness gracious. But anyway, what we just picked up there is our cheat. <laughs> Basically, it's an upgrade that Tails can get. It doubles our flight speed, making basically every single level in this game as Tails a non-issue. You don't even need to think. I can't even see where I am. What's going on? Move. Game. Game. Oh, there we go. Ah. Beautiful. But yeah, without any further ado, let's just go straight to the first boss. Now, like I said, it's basically going to go through all the same story beats as uh, Sonic did. I love what they did with Eggman, though. Like, Eggman sounds so menacing. Like, it's like, listen to him, it's like, steady on, Egghead, calm down, chill your beans, goodness gracious me. <laughs> but now it's time to put it to work. 
I do actually really appreciate one detail about this game as well, where like all of the characters, like they revoiced all of their lines of dialogue, so every single line has got a different take depending on whose storyline you're playing through. And I, I like that. It's it adds a little bit of extra depth, I guess. The depth is that the right word? It makes it so you're not watching the exact same cutscene over and over again. I suppose it's just great. I watched Snapcube, <laughs> Snapcube Psycho 6 fan dub this week. I work my brain piss myself laughing. Oh, I love that one. Probably my favorite part has to be the bit in the desert where Omega's counting the grains of sand. <laughs> Omega, count how many grains of sand there are. One, two, three. <laughs> he just keeps going on. I fucking love that part. Oh. I, uh, I haven't watched the uh, Snapcoop stuff in a long while. I, I need to get back to it again at some point in the future, but one day, one day, we'll get, I'll, get, I'll go back and give him another cheeky rewatch. How did your colleagues react? Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's, he's, he's watching another one of those newfangled Sonic things. And thank you again for the cheeky bitties. Ooh, lovely jubbly. I was watching a scene, everyone saw me crying, laughing, so I was thinking, what the fuck is he <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine you just turn around. Oh, and thank you again for the bitties. Well, yeah, you're going bitty mad today. <laughs> I can imagine, though, you just turn around and just saying, like, I'm laughing at Omega. He's counting the sand. <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> uh, but... Anyway, that was a boss fight. This boss takes a lot longer, weirdly enough, as Tails, because you can't cheese it quite like Sonic can, which is a shame. Although, I guess it evens out later on when we fight Chaos Fall, because Tails defeats that thing a lot easier. I think that fandom might edge over Dark Story in SA2. <laughs> it's really bloody good. <laughs> uh, which I never thought it would make me cry laughing as much as that one did. I mean... <laughs> All of them are just pure gold, honestly. Um, I'm wondering, actually, do we, do we know if Snapcube's going to come back and make another one? Like, I haven't heard anything about that. Jesus Christ, more bitties! Good Lord! You're going mad! Thank you very much. I do appreciate them. <laughs> Measure came up for him saying he missed the train. Better luck. Oh, oh, that was the hype train. Uh, that's a thing on Twitch to explain what happens basically with hype trains. Basically, every time I get subscribers, uh, if you get a lot of subscribers in a row, it generates a hype train, and it's it's basically just a way to get people excited and hyped up, you know. I don't think I've ever had a full hype train go off on on stream. I don't think that's happened. Oh no! Wait, maybe during the Sonic event, Sonic Marathon, I did. Maybe. That's a while back, though. If Snap could devs come back, I want them to unleash. Oh, that would be perfect. I can imagine them having a lot of fun with Werehog. <laughs> uh, so you get railed by a train of followers. Well, more subscribers, because following is different from subscribing. You're goddamn right, Tails. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I'm pissing on the earth! <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, let's go up here, get ourselves the next level key, and go to Tails' first stage. Now, Tails' gameplay in this, for the most part, is similar to Sonic's, except he has a specific gimmick in which every single level you play as is a cut-down version of Sonic's level where you have to race Sonic to the end of the stage. And uh, to show you how easy it is, this is how easy the first one is. Don't even have to, like, do any of the level. Like, you can just fly over the whole level. It's absolutely nuts. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's good fun, don't get me wrong, but it is kind of ridiculous that they just let you skip the stage in its entirety. It's like, wow! Alright, so... See, it's around here somewhere. I always lose track of the final... There it is. I always lose track of the final island. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Wasn't it moon? 
Uh, I was doing a quote for Snap Cute Phantoms and Unleash the first can Fires the Cannon to Earth. Yeah, they were probably. Whoa! Camera! Steady on! Bloody hell, what's going on there? Yeah, I can I can imagine I'm making a reference back to that. <laughs> How does Sonic catch up, though? I mean, he is the fastest thing alive. I mean, it's only natural for him to go super duper fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the real answer is rubber banding, but, uh, you know. I like to think that, like, Sonic's letting Tails win. Let's go with that. Like, he's he's actually just that fast. He's just letting Tails win. But next stage, right into the casino. Might as well just plow right on through. Yeah, you can speed through the stage so damn quickly. The stage? This this part of the game. There we are. Time to get, the, get me some rings before I immediately die. I believe the left route is the fastest route, if I remember correctly. I might be misremembering this. I think left route is the fastest. Not that it really matters. Like, this is pretty simple, to be honest. Because, <laughs> whoa, what the hell's going... I just skipped half the level, apparently. All right, I was right. Left is the fastest route. Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Never mind. I went back. I don't know. The, the stupid indicator of them on the screen just doesn't make any sense to me. Goodness. My God, again with the bitties. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You had a fun time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, is that fun time, me? Oh. Oh! Almost died! <laughs> uh, I used to remember having trouble with some of the Tales of Stages, though, uh, when I was a kid. And I don't... To this day, I don't really know how I was having trouble, because look how simple this is. Tales of Stages are, without a doubt, the easiest stages in this entire game. <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! You made it! Nice job, Tails! Whoa! <laughs> oh, goodness. You agree with me on that? Yeah, excellent stuff. You heard what happened to me the other day? What happened to me the other day? I have no idea what happened to me the other day. Oh no, he, he, he sprayed the stinky juice all over me. <laughs> oh no. Hydrate the sheep? No worries at all. Oh, wait, where's, where's me bot? Where's me fucking bot? Oh, you is. Mm. Uh, Sonic. I decided Sonic this time around to stick to Sonic. water for my stream, which, uh. But I think it's probably better for, <laughs> for my throat, to be honest. Now uh, he woke up. On. I did indeed wake up. I hate mornings as well. Like, is anyone else like me where they wake up in the morning? But it takes me a good solid two hours before I'm able to actually function. Because <laughs> I, that's a problem I always have. It's like, oh, geez. Uh, strawberry water is delicious. Oh yeah, absolutely. I. Honestly, uh, let me grab my bottle so I can... I'll do my, a quick hashtag not sponsored advert. This stuff, Volvic Strawberry, is my go-to water. This stuff is amazing. It's so delicious to drink. Nice and refreshing as well. Perfect. It's just water, It's just normal water with uh, strawberry flavoring adding to it. Where can you get that? Uh, you're in the UK, right, Grant? So you can, you can pick up just basically any corner shop like i have a spa around the corner that sells it i, I think most off licenses sell it <laughs> esco you can sell it oh goodness uh why not answer your comment what what comment hello like tesco one stop yeah tesco you, you can get it in tesco easy peasy lemon squeezy Co-op? Yeah, definitely can get them in co-op. Like, these things are very everywhere. Just look for Volvic. And uh, they usually bundle the flavored versions of Volvic next to the non-flavored. At least in my experience in most of the shops I've gone to. So it's easier to pick up. But it's all oh, horse. Oh, it goes down delicious. I think Tesco, maybe Sainsbury's salad. Really? Sainsbury's? I never really shop in Sainsbury's, so, but it wouldn't surprise me. Like, it... Like, sounds delicious, like a banana sundae and a cherry on top. 
wouldn't you say a strawberry sundae? <laughs> oh. I wonder, actually. They might actually do banana flavor. I'll have to have a look at what flavors they actually have on offer. Because I, I normally default to the strawberry. Uh, it's the first one I pick up. Uh, I think they're only shops that don't sell uh, all these littles and farm food. Really? Farm foods? Don't s no, that doesn't sound right. I, I imagine farm foods would sell it. But then again, it's hard to know for certain. All right, Tails! See you later, Tails! I See, the entire time, Sonic's like just soul surfing and he's just saying random shit to you the entire way you time you're going through this. It's like bonkers. Uh, come on, get on the jump ramp! All right! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Um, let's see. A uh, little gun on special aisle now and again. Oh, okay, so you can get them on the littles. Okay, that's cool then. Don't feel pressure for what was asked you the uh, last couple of days. What, what was asked of me the last couple of days? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. No, nothing's really been asked of me the last couple of days. Wow! Come on! Gonna go get the Mackies? Ah, oh, excellent. Enjoy, Grant. Enjoy. Hope you have a lovely time with it. Oh. Whoa, I missed the thing. You said you wasn't 100% sure. Message me after the stream, because I have absolutely no idea what you're referencing. Because uh, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> ah, gosh. Alright, time to beat Sonic to this. I used to have trouble with this uh, race, but honestly, for the most part, as long as you don't drive into the walls, you're good. Then again, Sonic seems to be like sliding into the wall, slamming his face up against it. God, that's gonna hurt. It's just hitting his face against the wall, constantly going down. Going <laughs> oh no! Yeah. All right. Anyway, onwards to progress, and I think it's time to take on Nipples the Enchilada, the absolute mad lad that he is. Oh yes. Oh tally ho! Yeah. Seriously though, like I can't stress just how quick. Tales' his story is. It's insane. And to be honest, when I was a kid, this used to give me the impression... Uh, uh, I, this is just purely headcanon, but this used to give me the impression that Tails is stronger than Sonic. And the reason why I thought that is purely because the next upcoming boss fight, right? Um, as soon as I just beat the shell of Knuckles, there we go. The next upcoming boss fight actually has a lower health bar as Tails, so you, you just beat him quicker. So I used to just hate cannon there as Tails is stronger than Sonic, obviously. <laughs> oh ah, goodness. So why didn't you say yes? I don't know what the what are you talking about? Hello? And welcome back there, Grant. Welcome back indeed. Oh, yes. You and the missus? What about me and the missus? I'm so confused. Anyway, just in case, don't talk about it on stream chat. Message me after the stream. I don't want to talk about my real life too much on stream. Uh, you thought I was gone forever, but no, 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 no. Good. I'm glad you're back. Because you're about, you're in time to watch Tails beat the shit out of a liquid creature. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, welcome back. <laughs> I used to always love how this cutscene looked. Yes, that's right. Suck it down. Oh, get out of your belly. Oh, quickly jump to Facebook Messenger. After the stream. I'm not talking about anything right now during the stream. I'm keeping my mind focused. Ah. <laughs> uh. He's messaging me on Messenger now. I'll look after. I'll look after. But for now, we got Chaos 4 to beat the shit out of. Oh, oh please. <laughs> 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 
Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, like, yeah, t the health bar on this boss is a lot smaller when you're playing as Tails for some reason. He takes a lot less hits. And I think he takes more hits if you're playing as Knuckles, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be wrong about that. Which, in theory, is kind of backwards. You think it would take more hits with Tails unless Knuckles, because Knuckles is the, he's the odd man of the group. He's, he's the tough boy. He's a tough boy. What can I tell you? Uh, but I digress. I'm back now with two McCrispies. McCrispies? What's a McCrispy? I don't ever recall a McCrispy. That's a that's a new one for me. Uh, one large rise, very nice, my classic, and a Coke Zero. Ah, see, I can't I can't have Coke Zero. It just doesn't taste the same. It has to be full fat, right? If it's not full fat, it's not it's not it's not real Coke. But I'm like that with more soft drinks, like the, the zero sugar versions of them, I just generally don't like. It's, I, I, will, I always avoid zero sugar whenever I get the chance. Which is probably why it's a good thing I uh, drink, probably drink more stuff like water, to be honest, because I, I get a lot of sugar in my system, but it's <laughs> nice! I have a sweet tooth, what can I say? What can I say indeed? Oh, yeah. Uh, never had a McCrispy. No, uh, they're beautiful. Oh, I'll have to check them out. I, I have no clue what they even are. <laughs> For some reason, like some kind of panini or something's popping in my head. Like some kind of toasty. Am I close to being correct there? Hmm. I would say you like spicy food. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not a spicy boy. Although I do like the, the, the chickens in KFC, which tend to have a lot, be a bit spicy, but... That's about the extent of it, really. <laughs> the spicy chicken burgers that McDonald's have added. Oh, okay. I'll have to have a... I'll have to have a gander. Ooh. To pretty much replace the chicken legend. Ooh. Maybe next time I go grab a Mackey's, I'll give him a cheeky go. Oh. They're too hard for you, personally. Okay. I'll give him a try. I'll see how I'd handle with them, but... If they're hot, much hotter than, say, the normal fillets from KFC, then I'm like probably one like them. Because I love those, I love those things from KFC, but I don't know. You're just a little bit more, and I think it'd probably be too much if that makes sense. Ah, uh, Chuck Norris throws a punch on Nokia phone. Would it break? No, the Nokia phone would not break if Chuck Norris punched it. <laughs> I know you're trying to do a Chuck Norris joke, but I'm going to just ruin it immediately. It just wouldn't break. The the, the Nokia 3310 is, like, so dangerous. If he stepped, stamped on it, it would break. But punching it, no. Wouldn't break. Ah. He'd be unalived. That phone is unalive. Ah. <laughs> now the McSpicy is too spicy for you. Oh, wow. So Nokia would win. You're goddamn right. We need all the Chuck Norris pages. Uh, apparently he's coming back and making a movie. Uh, at least from what I heard, but I don't know much about it other than that's a thing that's apparently happening. I don't really hear much of Chuck Norris that much these days. I can't say that. I don't... I tell you what's kind of weird, outside of the Chuck Norris jokes, I don't really ever hear much about him in regards to film or acting or anything anyway. It's like one day someone made that joke and it kind of just stuck and I, I don't even know why Chuck Norris in general, like why is he the one that goes for that? Uh, crazy. Like if it's someone like Bruce Lee, then I fucking understand Bruce Lee. Oh, you don't want to muck Bruce Lee. Oh. <laughs> You have no idea who Chuck Norris is? Uh, he's an actor. That does action movies, basically. And I haven't seen many films that he's in. I've only seen, like, what was it? Delta Force, I think it was called? And... I think it was called Delta Force. Anyway, it could be called something else. Well, whatever that film I'm thinking of is. And one of the Expendables, and that's it. Like, yeah, I haven't actually seen him in anything else. <laughs> uh... Isn't he obsessed with guns? Well, he is American, but I don't think he... I don't know if he's obsessed with guns or not. It's the first I've heard of it. Hmm. 
think it's because he lost to Bruce Lee, but doesn't want to admit it. Oh, is that is that why he... Okay. I mean, why wouldn't you want to admit it? <laughs> of all the people that to, to, to not admit defeat to, why Bruce Lee? The man's a legend. <laughs> if I lost to Bruce Lee, I'd just be a friend about it. I'd be like, yeah, fucking Bruce Lee, mate. <laughs> Ah, gosh. To be fair, James, Delta Force in the name of the U.S. Special Forces Group, so you might be right. Oh, in that case, it probably is the right name of the film, if that's the case. I'd have to have a, I'd have to have a look. It's been, it's been literally years, like... Over, over 15, 20 years, I think. No, it's... Well, maybe not 20. But it's over 15 years, at least, since I've, uh... Had a look. Ah, <laughs> uh, he wants to be better than Bruce Lee. Yeah, to be honest, though, we're at the point. Like, how can one judge if they're better than Bruce Lee in this day and age? Really, I guess back then. But you know, own up, own up that you lost. Learn from the loss and get better. Is that like one of the core principles to like martial arts? You know. Learn from your opponent and improve your fighting style based off what you've learnt when you lost. Isn't that like a... There's no shame in losing. <laughs> the Delta Force from 1986. Ah, there we go. I thought he was right. It was Delta Force, something like that. Because Bruce, Bruce, Bruce beat him fair and square in a sparring match, but Norris couldn't accept it. But... Ah, I don't know. I, I just don't understand mentality of people who just refuse to accept that they lost fair and, and square, you know? Gems has passed. Guess the movie Act 1. High score, 5,000! <laughs> oh, wow. But no, apart from that one movie, I don't... And Expandables. Where Expandables actually kind of leaned into that two Chuck Norris joke. I, I think the quote from Expandables was... Like, Chuck Norris got bit by a snake and the snake died, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, what are your best Chuck Norris quotes? Let me know in the chat, I'm curious. Give me, give us, give me your best ones. Oh, I love how the lighting looks here as well, it's beautiful. Where's, where's my drink? Mm, wow, that dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! <laughs> and then you just hear him over the distance. What? You've been asleep for hours. I thought you were dead. Mm. Whoa! Well, <laughs> yeah! The right. the tornado's not powerful. I want not since I'm watching any Chuck Norris movies. Well, you don't really even need to watch any movies for the jokes, so... Basically, you just have to say some kind of ridiculous claim that Chuck Norris did. Like, Chuck Norris got, in fight, got into a fight with a computer, and... No. No, no, that won't work. Hold on. Chuck Norris got in... Fuck, these are hard to come up with. Oh, there we go, he's got one. Fuck, no, no, never mind, he doesn't. What the fuck, Chuck? Fuck Chuck Norris with a telegraph pole sideways up his ass, bone dry, well, his face gets... Jesus Christ, that's graphic! Good God! Goodness gracious, I'm... Are you alright? Chuck Norris hurt you! Wanna, wanna hang out a bit after the stream? Yeah, I, I can be game for that. Wait, hold on. I for, I went the wrong way. I meant to go into the jungle. That's right. I fucking... I'm like going mad. Peggy 3. <laughs> this stream is rated E for every... Ah, uh, but yeah, I, I'm game to hang out after the stream. Uh, I'm not sure for how long, though, because I know once the missus um, comes home from work, I'm going to be probably jumping on Fortnite with her and her brother for a bit. But until then. Oh, yeah, that's right, I need to go to this way because I need to do the sand shit. That's right. Where is the frog with the emerald? Oh, there's a Chaos Emerald. Apparently, Chuck Norris built a hospital he was born in and drove his parents home. He built the hospital that he was born in. I mean, that could work if, say, 
the hostel got broke, you know, fell down, and then he kind of built it again. But mm, that's that one. That one's a bit too silly. <laughs> Not gonna lie, can't wait to watch Sonic Symphony in September. Oh yeah, same. It's, oh. Splendid stuff. Nah, I'm not too busy at all. I, I'll be, I'll be free. <laughs> well, I got plenty of time because I think she finishes work at about ten, and I don't, I don't stream for too long, so I'll have plenty of time to chill out. Anyway, so this here is Sandhill. Uh, it's a Tails exclusive level, although I think you can play the stage of Sonic if you. Go into the trial mode in the you know in the main menu, but yeah, it's basically ice cap, but with sand. Whoa, this Green Hill's looking a lot more like Sand Hill. <laughs> My red guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you did. It's a fun level. Honestly, you can't really fail it. There is no real fail conditions. I don't think it's just get to the end. I don't even know what the point of these like poles are for. Maybe they're for, like a challenge. I don't know. I just go for them. I aim for them, and that's it. Bish bash bosh. <laughs> it's good fun, though. Ah, uh, yeah, they are. That is definitely the type of jokes they use. Like it's just really silly stuff. Ah, uh, I remember. I don't remember this. That looks fun. It is a fun stage. It's a pointless stage, but it's also a fun one. Oh, this area, right? I love this region where tails are like transported to the past. Love this place. It's so cool to run around and exploring, right? Because it's so fast. My complaint with it is that it's also so fast. So, by default, you're, you're going to go straight to that fucking temple dead ahead of you, right? That's your, your, your first thing. Don't do that. You will get lost. Childhood me got lost here for God knows how long. You actually want to go up there to the left. But, I wonder, can I... Oh, you can actually go to this area. I didn't know. Ta I didn't realize Tails could come down here. So yeah, you can you can run around here if you stole from the Sonic story and be like, "Hey, look, that's the Master Emerald." That I can't. Oh, I can't jump on it. That's a shame. Oh, goodness gracious me! But look, the Chaos Emeralds are here. Why can't I take these? Like, you think Tails would be here? You see all these and be like, "Oh, I don't like a mess up for Tails." Oh boy! I don't know why I went Mickey Mouse again. Hot dog! Oh, Kingdom Hearts! Hot dog! Hydrate the sheep, no worries at all. Ugh. Ah, goodness. Oh, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I'm excited. Just got announced for Steam. Oh. So I'm going to be buying all those games for the one millionth time next month. And uh, I'm hoping they're not too expensive. I, I got a feeling they're going to cost about 80, 80 bucks. 80 quid. Uh, 80 and 90 quid around that range. That's my guess of what they're going to cost. Let's see if I'm right, though, in due time. But anyway, we want to go here to get this power up. Um, because this power up. You found the rhythm badge. To do don't really think back, it's important, but apparently you need it. Essentially, it just makes it let you do Tails' spin attack forever. And you can cut the grass with it, which gives you some rings. Uh, why would you ever want to do that? Not a fucking clue, but you can do it! <laughs> ah. the servers are the seven Beautiful. Balls deep, hello? I beg us your pardon. Hello there, friend. How are you? I hear dead or alive right now. Oh, thank you for the pennies! <laughs> dead or alive. Now that's a game. That's a game series I actually really like. It's one of the few fighting games I can quite comfortably play because I don't know if, some, if I were to ever tell someone a casual game franchise right it's dead or alive like it's just one of those series that you can just pick up blast some people easy peasy be a great time and thank good god you're going absolutely nuts oh you meant the music artist oh that's a music artist you spin me oh that's the name of the po oh you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a racket, baby, right round, right round. I actually had no idea the name was Dead or Alive. I just, I just think it was a fucking video game. 
Uh, wow. Oh, here he comes. Here is big. Here is a boy. Hello, will you give me my frog, please? Oh, you can have him. Oh, no, he's fucking bouncing off again. Oh, dear. <laughs> Seriously, imagine you were tails in that position. All right, you would you would you would shit yourself. <laughs> ah, goodness. Ah, oh, so good. I love the music. To be fair, mix things up times like more times like me. Oh, you'd be surprised. I'm not what one. I, how do I best word this? I'm not a very music musically literate person. <laughs> like, you know when people have conversations with each other, like, oh, what kind of music do you like? What kind of bands do you like? I dread that. Because when they come to me, I'm like, uh, I like video game music. <laughs> you know, because I, I just don't know much music. I don't really listen to music outside of video game soundtracks often. I will sometimes have stuff on Spotify, but I like... I just don't listen to music, and I don't know. It's an odd one. I just say rock. I mean, yeah, that's probably the best bet for me as well. I mean, I do like my like punk rock stuff, like Blink 182, uh, Zebra Heads, Sum 41. I know that those bad type of bands are like my jam. You know, uh, I like a Avenged Sevenfold. Um, Paramore. I like Paramore. But it's like... Other, otherwise, like, apart from, like, some stock bands, I'm like, eh. I don't know. Don't really listen to music. <laughs> I mean, just say 60s and 70s music. Ah, oh, very nice. Nice choice. I don't really hear many people mention 60s music that much. I, 70s are here quite every now and then, because that's... Like, 70s tend to have, like, more of a funky vibe to them, don't they? Uh, which is really dope. I can't say I've really heard much from the 60s, though. Whatever would Beatles be? Would they be 60s? I, 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 I am not actually sure. <laughs> Whatever Beatle is. Beatle is? Beatles are. Uh, probably a bit later than the 60s. Oh, they are 60s. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> uh, I'm an oldie for a 22-year-old. I mean, everyone has their styles. Like, most of my musical chases are in ch chases? Musical tastes are, like, ingrained in the early 2000s and, like, I would say from the 80s till the 2000s, like, that range are usually where my tastes lie, because, you know, I, I love stuff from the 80s, you know, I love me a bit of stuff from the 90s, love me my Michael Jackson, he's, oh, some top-notch tracks. And then, of course, I like all the 2000s rock and stuff as well that uh, used to be prevalent everywhere. Let's see, uh... includes names, singers, and the songs. Wait, I'm not a literal person. I'm bad with people's names, songs, and some places. Especially if the, something one has named character... One has the same name, chances are I won't remember. Uh, I get I get what you mean. <laughs> I completely butchered what he was saying when I was say, re reading that, but uh, yeah, I get what you mean. And I can be the same as that. As well, like sometimes people ask me, Oh, where are you going? I'll be like, I'm going down the road to that street over there. And they'll be like, Oh, you mean so and so street? I'm like, Maybe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Names of singers and the songs. Well, usually when it comes to like bands and stuff, I know the band names, right? But generally, I don't know the, the name of the actual people in the band. If you know, like I couldn't, I couldn't tell you half the names of say, I was there was a band I like, uh, Iron Maiden. I don't think I know any of the band members' names in Iron Maiden. Fucking love their music, just don't know the names. <laughs> it's like, uh, and I am bothered to learn the names because I know I want to stick in my head. Oh, I forget. It's one of them cup of teas. Oh. Anyway, tornado sequence number two. This one is a fair bit harder than the first, but. It's just a repeat of the Sonic section. Like, these Sonic levels, 
I don't know why they make you play these twice, because there is no difference when in each time you play these. Ah. Uh, I know you like the 80s and 90s rock, maybe some 2000s, that's what normally is, and we're now time green things. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, when when we used to go to the pubs and stuff, that, that was always the type of stuff I put on. Uh, and, I don't know, what, what do you... I, I did I did listen to like Journey a lot. Would they be considered two thousands rock? I think they consider two thousands. Ah, to be honest, to be fair, I can't even do left or right. Oh, I does that all the time. <laughs> You'd be surprised how often I'm I'm going left and I walk the wrong way. Ah, uh, like sometimes I just stop myself. I'm like, hold on a minute. Ah. <laughs> uh, we now have a thing where when trying but I do the directions because they're so oh, wow. <laughs> uh, and how about people ask me the directions? I know where to go, but I literally have to physically lead them where they need to go instead of saying hey, keep going. Yeah, yeah. I'm one hundred percent like that. And journey some more eighties. Oh there you go. But I'm one hundred percent the same grants. Like and it's the same when it comes to like helping people on a computer, for example. Like I'd be a useless tech support agent. I know my way around PCs, I know my way around Windows, I know my way around Linux. Don't really know my way very well around Mac, but I'm learning. But if you were to ask me a question about how to do something, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But if I have it in front of me and I'm doing it at the same time, I'd be able to tell you as I'm doing it. It's one of those weird things. I can't do it from memory. I have to muscle memory my way through whatever I'm telling someone about. In fact, it's been a couple of times where, like, Cal and Mighty, I've helped them out with some things, and on my end, like, I can't remember what situation it was. It was one thing I remember them asking me about. Uh, I was doing the same thing on my computer, just to, like, sort of articulate what to do, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, wow, Journey was 73? Really? Oh, wow, that's crazy. No, we are right around... Uh, do I? Don't get any ideas. I don't think I do. <laughs> oh, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say the line. How about I give you a little sample? Wait. Oh, he didn't say the line. I thought he goes, like, get a load of this. Oh. I'm disappointed now. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. But no, that that's why I would be terrible with, like... Then again, I say I'd be terrible as a tech support agent. Most of the time, they're just following a script, so... You know. It'll only be when I have to get into the, the meat and potatoes of, like, a PC. I'm, I'll have to be like, oh, God, here we go. I have to actually work now. Instead of going, is it plugged in? Have you turned it off and on again? Which... Top tap tech tip for everyone. Nine times out of ten, turning it off and on again will fix your issue. Uh, that's, in my experience, there's a reason why that's such a meme in the IT crowd, because most of the time that will fix your problem. Not always, but most of the time is nuts. Hydrate the sheep? No worries at all. Uh, as soon as I pause the game to... There we are. Get my sippy cup ready. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Oh. Oh gosh, I almost dropped the bottle of water. That would have been devastating. Oh, in Cal's case, making sure the wire is plugged in helps. <laughs> oh, I should tell you what, I can't say much. I've done that myself where something hasn't worked. Like I think it was one of my controllers on one of my consoles. Like It just didn't work. And it turns out I forgot to plug the fucking thing in. <laughs> so, I've been there. Don't worry. I've been there. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just fly around here. Alley up. Again, the good thing of this... Uh-oh. Oh, just about survived. The good thing about this stage as Tails is you can skip 90% of the stage because you can just do some fucking crazy maneuvers when you're just running around. It's nuts. <laughs> I can't lie, this whole thing of helping others out reminds me of trying to help your classmates at uh, high school uh, of how I got the answer to 7 to 3 instead of showing them how I got it. I just told them the answer because I can't be asked. <laughs> oh, I, I, I understand that too well, except 
When it comes to math, someone will ask me how I, how I got it, and I'm like, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> me and math don't go well. I'm not a good math man. If it weren't for the calculator app in my phone, I'd be screwed. Which is hilarious, actually, because I, I remember when I was a kid, specifically, someone said, you can't... Like, one of my teachers used to say, you can't use calculators for everything because you will never have a calculator in your pocket at all times. Right, I, I remember this from primary school. Fast forward, like, 20 years. Well, we got, we all got computers in our pockets. Like, fucking... You, you fucking what? How dare you, you lied to me, you snag! Oh, gosh. You thought the 360 was broken, but I just didn't have the HDMI plugged in. Oh, I've done that! <laughs> I don't know where my PC as it goes. Like, um, one of my PCs I took apart to clean out a while back, you know, just give it the old spray over, just get rid of the dust inside, right? And I forgot to plug in the HDMI cable, so it, it took me about an hour trying to troubleshoot the PC, thinking it was dead, to realize, oh, I didn't plug it in. So I've been there. Uh, <laughs> it's... Horrible when that happens. It was during a game night. Oh no! <laughs> uh, calculator app on your phone. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the crazy thing. I mean, we didn't really have the foresight back then. People didn't really realize that we would have technology like this back then. I prefer to use maths in my head. My phone doesn't understand my question. Ah, uh, no, I can't do maths in my head. Has to be on my phone. I mean, I don't even need to use the calculator app. I can just use a web browser. Like Google or something. And if the web browser itself doesn't do the equation... Well, they got AI in the web browsers now, and that might do it. But then again, I guess, I guess be careful what you type into that, because, like, John typed something into... Uh, into, like, Google earlier today, he sent a, well, I don't know if he, he typed it in, but John saw a, pic, saw a question or something on Google. Someone asked him, asked Google something, and he replied with, go jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. So, maybe don't put too much trust in the AI. <laughs> Goodness. I remember when my nan thought I was a tech genius because I plugged the issue in my table. Uh, HDMI back in the TV socket. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of really nutty when you have family members. Because it, it, I'm kind of like the guy that my family usually goes to if there's a tech problem. And it is always nutty when they think you're some kind of genius when you're just doing like a basic thing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> PC's running slow. All right, I'm going to reset it. Boom, reset it. Things are a bit faster now. How did you do that? I went to Windows settings and hit reset. <laughs> Gamma's legs? Gamma's legs. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I mean, if X comes into my equation, my phone says, fuck you. Really? I mean, I usually... That, that would usually work with Google. I'll tell you what. Give me a random equation that has X. Like, whatever. I'll see what... I'll see what Google comes up with. Let's, let's put this to the test. There we go. Got my web browser ready. I never understood why they did different scenes at this exact moment. I understand why. It's because this is probably the most viewed cutscene in the game. Because, like... One, two, three, four separate characters see this exact same cutscene. So I think they just wanted to make it stand out a little bit, you know? <laughs> uh, but again, actually, wait. They never did see... Didn't they do... Oh, maybe I'm mixed remembering. Maybe my brain's having a shit. Uh, all right. Six times two... two Alright, uh, you use my phone first. Okay, I'll try this. Time for some one Welsh math! Ah, right. Uh, I don't actually know how this stuff all works out, so... D d hold on, where's my calculator app? Uh, calculator? Calc? 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 
Bear with me. Bear with me. I got so many apps on this bloody phone. I need I need a new phone. But not a new phone. I need to wipe this thing, which I will do. Because all my games on here are going to go into, like, my Odin Pro when I get that. Um. Okay, so... Six times two. I'm finished. Open brackets. Defeated, and two divided by one. Close bracket. I will destroy Station Square anyway. Well, it comes up with twenty-four. Is that correct? <laughs> I couldn't tell you if that's correct, but that's what it comes up with. A plus Y. Expand A plus Y. Oh God. Ah. <sighs> Makes me think like Prime. You know, I enjoyed maths. I hated algebra. Oh, I bloody fucking. I, I mean, I hate maths. So there's that. A. <laughs> Why? Hey. Yeah, that's that's the best way to do it. I love it when like you can give like cheeky answers like. Expands the number, and you, you do that. You do just that in a like a sarcastic way, and then the teacher's like, "Oh, do you think you're fucking funny? <laughs> you think you're fucking funny?" Uh, Twenty-four is correct. Oh, there we go. So it works perfectly fine on the calculator. This music track, right? It plays only here in the entire game. It's the only place. It's so weirdly intense. <laughs> Oh, it's absolutely nuts. Like, I don't understand how me knowing that X, Y equals A, Y is going to help me with everyday life. Like, it's not going to help you with everyday life, but it, it, it depends. Like, if you go into, like, certain fields of expertise, like programming, that's fucking valuable when it comes to programming. Because uh, you're you're dealing with all sorts of shit that involve like math, okay, but man, if you're not dealing with it, programming or anything like that, you kind of don't really need that knowledge for the everyday life, because you never use it. You can keep up with me. What? He's got a <laughs> I fucking love that line. You think you can keep up with me? What? He's caught up. <laughs> uh, makes me laugh every time I play the stage. Uh. All right, so far so good. Kablamo! And again, so this level used to—I used to have trouble doing this when I was a kid, and I honestly, uh, I was gonna say honestly, I don't know why, but then I just immediately died. So, uh, change one of them numbers the numbers are tell you one and the website will answer tell you nine you can keep up with me interesting hmm I don't know I'm not, I'm not one for math it's too much out of my knowledge league give me standard IT I, I'm good with standard IT I can I can I can IT well ish up oh, uh, tails tails what the fuck Good game Hello? Alright. Third time's the charm. Oh, he didn't say what he called up this time. What the fuck? That's a new one. Alright, anyway. Me as a cashier. Yeah, that'll be an AYX, please. <laughs> you fucking what? Oh, Jesus. Sorry, all my wallet has Sigma. <laughs> Uh, third chimes the tom. Yeah, goddamn right. Power times distance times height times weight divided by speed equals something. I know what it equals. It equals a hernia, mate. That's what it fucking equals. <laughs> wow, the camera does not like this level. Good lord. Alright, the game wants me to take that rocket. I will say fuck you, game, and I'm gonna go this way. This way is faster. This is actually one of my favorite Tails levels, though. It's the hardest Tails level, and it's actually his final stage, believe it or not. Like, we're done with Tails' story. Uh, but, I don't know, it's just something fun about flying around the city like this. But this always caught me off guard, so... 
I thought this would be the end of the level, right? Where this missile is? It is! But you have to walk a little bit further than you'd think. Like, I, I actually lost once because I stood there confused why the level didn't end. <laughs> and Cal be like, bro, I didn't get my A change. <laughs> My favorite math is pie, and the only reason for that is because it's tasty, not because I like math. <laughs> so you beat me to this so Isn't pie some. Yeah, pie is like 3.142 something, 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 and it just goes on forever then. Uh, I'm not exactly. Hold on, I'm gonna Google it. What is pie? Let's have a look. 3.14159265358979 It just keeps going. <laughs> so there you go. That's Pi. It's absolutely mental. Oh, time for the egg walker. I love this boss fight, by the way, as Tails is so. It's actually one of the best bosses in the game. I just really enjoy this one. The idea is basically when he, he stomps legs and pulls like a five-year-old tantrum, uh, you just have to basically boop the fuck me lights. Once you boop the fuck me lights, you boop him, bish bash bosh, and you're gonna fuck him. Easy peasy. It's actually a really easy boss fight, but uh, you know, you kind of just need to be aware of shockwaves, really. There you go. So far, so good. Nah, someone just came up with that number. They were like, fuck it, let's go with this one. <laughs> you know what? I like to believe that. Like, why is this such a weirdly distinct number? Like, is there an actual reason that we know of why Pi is a thing? Like, there, there probably is a distinct reason for it, but I just, I, I, I'm just like, well, it's just a weird number, isn't it? Why? All right. One more boop, and Eggman's done for. And with that, we have just cleared Tails' story. Nice and quick and easy. I also like the stupid scenarios, like Jimmy cycles 600 miles to shop and back, find out his speed. <laughs> I'm fucking re I remember those, because... Uh, one of these times where I, I, I wanted to kind of take another, like, math test, and I'll get a stupid question like that, and I'll just be... I'll just write, fucking fast, mate. <laughs> uh, some guy like Pine thought, why not make this a number? Yeah, bleh, let's go with that. <laughs> it's a thing because the professor creator was hungry and singing a pie at the time. <laughs> tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna we're, go we're gonna do math class with one well sheep here today on the Sonic Adventure stream, so why is pie? Alright, pi is denoted by the Greek letter squiggly line and is used in mathematics to represent a constant. 3.141. It was originally discovered as the constant equal to the ratio of circumference of a circle. Okay, so it, it it's a circle. That's why it, it's a circle. Then why not call it a, a, a orb? Why pie? Why not orb? Why not ruined? Round? Ruined? Ruined. Ah, oh, goodness. Amazing. Yo, man, wanna try my pie? Sure, what flavor is it? It's 3.14159. Ah, my favorite flavor. Ah, brilliant. Imagine it's like 10 guys in a meeting and like, all right, guys, we need innovate mass ideas. And then one of them mentions pie. <laughs> I prefer pie flavor, personally. Oh, that reminds me of, like, um... Oh... Uh, ASDF movie, I think it was. It's like... I have a pie! What flavor? Pie flavor. I think that was the, the gag. It's been a long time since I've seen those films. Those, those animations. I miss them. They were brilliant. Yep, that's the reference. Oh, that's the <laughs> Ah, excellent. I want a 
fly so we can reach the highest of all the heaven somebody will be waiting for me will I'll fly fly higher I'm telling you I, I could be a I could be an I could be a singer one day <laughs> hey man look at man no dog <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do an internet Brilliant stuff. Cal said you fucked up. You said references. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. Ah, okay. That's that's it. Okay. It's been a long time since I watched those animations. It's been many years. Fucking hell. It's like trying to calculate the distance needed to travel, the speed the speed needed to penetrate the object needed a pincher. So I have to calculate the weight of the grain with the power it leaves the barrel over the dust needed to travel the came against the wind. Spin in motion here, and then bullseye! And then the proton needs to do the prefix with the, the, the wine compatibility layer, and... <laughs> uh, here's what you could've won! Ooh, do tell. If it's pie, I could be a sad puppy. A sad puppy indeed. Love for me. Oh, I fucking love this song. I tell you what, this is a song that most people like. No one really talks about Tales as theme in SA One, and it's such a shame because I love Tales as theme song in this game. It's so good. Like the guitar work as well is really good. It's an underrated track. No one talks about it. I don't know why. It's brilliant. Ah. <sighs> Ah, goodness. I like trains. <laughs> Hello, mine turtle. Oh, I, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch them later. I, I go through a bit of a nostalgic binge. I reckon. I think that could be a good laugh, good fun one. Oh. I drew the sheep. No worries at all. So what tier mass class are you putting me into? Uh, um, I mean, it's safe to bet that you're way, way more knowledgeable at math than me, so... The highest? I don't know. <laughs> I'd get all my answers off Google. I don't fucking know math. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the crazy mad lad that during college made a clock and... In bloody visuals, visual studio, without realizing there's a fucking system call to do it automatically. So I, through fucking sheer brute force, I managed to make my own clock manually. I don't even know how I managed to do it. I, I even my teacher looked at my code. It was like, how the fuck? And that was the day I realized coding wasn't for me. Because it'll take me the longest, hardest possible way to get anything done. <laughs> ah, goodness. Goodness gracious me. Indeed. Right. Anywho. Let's have a look. Uh, how long have we been streaming for? One hour ten. I'll fit in Gamma's storyline. Why not? Uh, that's going to be a nice short one. And I love Gamma's story in this game. It's just she a bloody carnage. You just blast everything in sight. It's so fun. Excellent. Full systems. Full power. Yeah, Gamma's story is one of my favorites. Like, I remember, actually, uh, like, this is a memory I have from when I was a kid. When I f The first time I beat Gamma's story. Uh, I'm not gonna say right away what happens at the end. I'm gonna leave you guys experience it for yourselves. But I actually cried at the end of the story when I was a kid. It made me sad. <laughs> the people who know they know, but uh, like I, I was, I was, I was a sad puppy with the ending. Probably a second favorite in this game. Ooh. Uh, who, which story is your favorite then, Grant? I'm curious. Because follow me, my favorite is Sonic's. Like, straight up, it's my favorite story to play through. Sonic story. Ah, I thought so. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that makes sense, because it is the basic gameplay. Hello, Mecha Sonic. How you doing in there? 
Hope you're doing well. Oh, hello, Metal Sonic. Seriously, Eggman has these things in, like, little jars. Why doesn't he just unleash them at Sonic at once? Like, they're, they're right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. Fast and Furious, my story. Which might be a surprise. Some people think it'd be Amy's at number one. I mean, I'm surprised you don't... What is... What... I'm, ex I'm guessing Amy's is pretty high up on your list because I know you're a big you're a big Amy stan. So how high up is Amy's story in SA One for you, Grant? I'm curious. Ooh. All right, let's go. Gotta break all of the break all of the dolls, including the nipples, dolls, and. For anyone who was around during the earlier times of the internet, oh no, it's a Tails doll, we're gonna die! Because <laughs> if anyone doesn't know, like the Tails doll from Sonic R was like considered to be like this really weird, creepy demon possessed doll for some reason in like the Sonic fan base. And I never quite understood that. He was my favorite character of the players in Sonic R. I used to think he was cute. <laughs> These days I'd rather play as Metal Sonic or Normal Sonic or, or someone like that, but. You know, back in the day, I loved Tails doll. I thought he was cute. I wanted a, I wanted a real Tails doll. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, one plus one equals window. Ah, Windows eleven, you could say, because one plus one is eleven. Fuck! Almost dropped my controller. This might be very surprising, but I have Amy's number four. Oh wow, that is quite surprising. My problem with Amy's story is way too short. I always said, have Yeah, Amy's story is really mega short. But to be honest, that kind of goes for most of the stories in this game outside of Sonic's, really. Like, Sonic's is the longest. Tails is then shorter. And I think they just progressively go shorter from there. Okay, then, Gamma. It's like, Gamma's story here, they're, 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 this will be beaten probably within the hour. And we'll be done with it. <laughs> ah. Sonic R Tails doll. Yeah, people back in the day, in the earlier days of the internet, and in the earlier days of the Sonic fan base online, were, there was like a weird, like creepy pasta thing involving the Tails doll, and people were scared by it for some fucking reason. In fact, I I think even like um, some call me Johnny, one of his old reviews back when he was trying to go for like the more ABGN style of video, he even made a gag involving the Tails doll because of how it was. It's it's so weird. I never quite got it. Ah, Big's being your least favorite in your opinion. I love Big Story. I, I don't know. I, I enjoy it. By the way, this look how hard this is going to be. Hardest boss fight in the game. Look at that. Fucking challenging as hell. <laughs> Mission complete. To be honest, most of Gamma's bosses are really fucking easy. You just have to tap the button and there you go. You're done. You're one. I surprised myself, Egghead. I and yet I have my final verdict on my final so favorite story. Ah, cool means. How close are you through uh, finishing it now, Cal? Anyway, I'm curious. Because I imagine you... Because you're definitely ahead of me, I think, now at this point. So... I'm curious. It's sufficient gameplay. I've never forgiven because uh, how long it took me to catch a green twat. <laughs> Don't be mean to Kermit. I know, right? It's not easy being green. Ow. That was a terrible Kermit impression. Hold on. It's not e It's not easy being green. <laughs> ah, goodness. No, you catch him and he just fucks off afterwards. Ah, you see that? I got a pro tip for you, Grant. All right, and it's gonna blow your mind. Uh, to catch. Froggy easy. The analog stick, just pull it down when he grabs it. As soon as you do that, it will catch him and you won't have to worry. Like seriously, it's that that's all you have to do is just press down on the analog stick and it will catch him. It's nuts. <laughs> Once you learn that, big story is so easy. Uh. I always like this effect with like the spotlight shining on him. I also found it really cool looking. You have Amy, Big, and Gamma left. Okay, so I have Knuckles, Amy. I think it's just Knuckles and Amy next. 
after after I'm done with Gamma Story now today. So, oh, I guess I am closer to the end than you. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> I believe anyway. Hold on, I've done Sonic. I've done Big. I've done Tails. And Super Sonic, yeah. Although I, I don't really count Super Sonic as a story because it's more of an epilogue, really, with like a, just a boss. Like, there's no real action stages or anything to worry about, is there? Ah, well. Let's go get ourselves a cheeky green bastard, shall we? Oh. Oh. I actually like Big as a character. I assume they've been more in Heroes than SE1. Honestly, I kind of wish we saw more of Big the Cat. Like, I, I'm hoping with, like, Sonic Frontiers 2, they bring him back again for more fishing minigames, because I loved that idea of having him there for fishing in, in Frontiers 1. Like, that was bloody good. So, I, I'm hoping they kind of stick with that. That's like, that's like a good middle ground to keep big involved with the games. Alright, let's just do some cheeky blasting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you know, the thing I have to say about, like, Gamma Story is, like, I think the best way I can describe it is it's just really cathartic. You, you know, you're going around, you're blowing everything in sight up to smithereens. It's just really good fun. That's kind of the thing I have to say. Oh, thank you for the cheeky bitties once again. Oh, oh I am being fed tonight. <laughs> oh, delicious. Definitely prefer the fishing in Frontiers than SE1. Oh, yeah, the, 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 it's a lot easier in Frontiers for sure. I like it, actually. It's a really relaxing minigame, which ideally you kind of want fishing to be. I'm a sucker for a good fishing minigame. Uh, I know there's a minigame in Final Fantasy XV, actually, uh, for fishing, and I loved it. Well, I didn't really love it. I remember liking it. I, I think there was like a VR fishing game at one point, wasn't there, where they had like rock music? That was kind of nuts. Oh, thank you again for the 14 cheeky bitties. Oh, oh lovely. Delicious. That's why I had left, so I need to get more soon. Ah! <laughs> I do appreciate it, though, thank you. <laughs> oh, my favorite line in the game's coming up. No data found. Location unknown. This presents a problem. I fucking love that line. This presents a problem. <laughs> it's like, hello? Uh, this one, I, I don't know. I always love that line. That line. He's just like, oh shit. Oh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a titty thing. <laughs> uh, goodness. Yeah, none of that language in the chat, please. <laughs> Oh my god, that shell looks stoned. Oh, goodness. I kind of love how the Chow look in this game. They look really cute. I don't know what it is, though. Something about them looks different than SA2, and I can't really pinpoint what it is. There's something about them that looks different, and I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, he did mention that to me, but uh, I figured I'd... Should I should say, n to calm down with the that sort of thing, just in case people get uncomfortable. <laughs> I got a question about Gamma. Uh, was he like a prototype test for Omega? I believe that's the case. Um, well, not so much a prototype. So Gamma is part of the E-series robots, right? And he's part of the E-100 line. I believe Omega is a part of the next generation line of robots, the E-1000 series, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take what's the cutscene playing. I'll fact chat myself for it now. I believe that's the case. Um, Omega, I should say on the Sonic fan wiki. No, not Omega the symbol, you bell end. I want Omega the Sonic character. Oh, E123. Okay, so he's still the next generation. I had the number wrong. So there we go. Ah. <laughs> uh. But yeah. This 
frog's the one we want. No, here's the real one. Also, I, I love how I love the implication that Eggman has designed these robots to be just fucking incompetent. It's like I want a green frog with a tail. They all that that one's not even fucking green. That's blue. Beautiful singing. Ah, goodness. You know, in hindsight, thinking back, it's no wonder you turned his other robots into scrap metal, because he's like, he's looking at the robots, and he's like, hmm. None of them are correct, except for one. <laughs> it's kind of not surprising. Be gone! Yeah, it's easy to get confused in the chat with stuff like that, because, uh... I don't know. It, it's one of the things with, twi with like, Twitch chat. Sometimes it can be can be uncertain who you're directing messages to. It happens all the time. I've seen it happen on, like, other streamers as well, like, bigger streamers and stuff, where someone will say something to someone else, and then about 50 different people will answer, and they were like, No, sorry, I meant it for someone else. <laughs> uh... It's a, it's a particularly common thing on Twitch. Oh, yeah, if you ask the wrong person, then that just causes all sorts of fucking confusion. That's why I'm very meticulous whenever I have to deliberately ask someone in the chat. Because sometimes, like, the autocorrect will just pick some rando. Like, there's a couple of times I almost, like, t messaged some random viewer who's just lurking, who's not even in the chat, and I'm just like, whoopsie daisy. Because <laughs> uh, I know some people, like, some people like to watch the streams and not be involved in the chat, and, you know, that's cool. You do you. I, I, I do that a lot with a lot of streams. There's a lot of times I just can't be bothered chat, I just watch the streams. Uh. Call someone an airbag. <laughs> Call someone an airbag? Hello? <laughs> By the way, this 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 is fucking horrific if you think about it. He's looking at his friend. I know it's a robot, but put it in Gamma's perspective, you're seeing your friend literally mauled alive and parts of his body getting ripped off. That's gotta be fucking horrific. Ah, oh, goodness. All right. Anywho, this is the room we want to go in. Some person in the chat was addressed by Miss Belt. Oh, I see. <laughs> Whoa, Cal just called me an airbag. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no. There we are. Cutscene that Grant's gonna be happy at because Best Girl is gonna appear on stream in a sec. And while she's talking, I'm gonna have a drink. There we go, everyone. That's confusion. <laughs> go away. All I need now is John to be around and just pop in and be like, at least best girl, because for some reason, every time someone mentions best girl, he brings up Elise. He hasn't even played Sonic 06, so I don't understand his obsession with Elise, but... <laughs> Uh, why does Gamma have swiney faces? I was like, yes? Oh, I, I'd have to look closer at his model now. He has smiley faces on his arms and legs? Balls deep for me. Hello? Does not compute help? Hello? Why does that look? I'm trying to find the smiley faces. I'm not seeing any. Maybe you can point them out to me later on or something, because I'm kind of confused. <laughs> Yo, son. <laughs> I need to get, like, the, the, the Among Us sound effect. That sound uh, on a soundboard or something. That would be great. <laughs> it's like, hmm, suspicious. 
Uh, you're sus. Get going. Be glad you addressed that challenge correctly, or else you'll have to buy me dinner first. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have to say, no, actually, now mine's gone. My fucking brain just had a melt. I kind of miss Amy being like this in a way, because uh, the thing is, Amy, I found in the past, used to have too much of the. Oh, personality right but I do miss it as well you know I I, I think instead of just completely getting rid of that they could probably maybe find like a middle ground that's what I'm kind of hoping for in like future Sonic games anyway like a middle ground but anyway this year ladies and gentlemen is a fucking that's Omega oh that's like Amma's head that there is a dark chow egg so like in uh, Station Square, where I mentioned in my first stream, you can get Chow eggs in the, in the adventure fields. That's one of them that you can find. And you can take that to the Chow Garden. And, uh, well, you can get yourself a different colored Chow, which is very nice. It's Omega. <laughs> oh, the Jet Booster, one of my favorite thing. All right, so... I don't know how the physics work on the jet booster. So basically, it lets you hover, right? That's, that's all it is. It's a hover device. Okay. I think this is the right room. This is the wrong room. <laughs> but how does it work? Because, like, Gamma's, like, hover device sort of floats behind him. It's not connected to its body at all. So how does it slow his fl falling? I, d I never understood that. Oh, there we go. It's one of those weird, like, things. Like, look at that. How is that meant to help you from falling? It's just a floating object behind you. <sighs> it's just one of those weird things. <laughs> Not jealous, I just don't share. <laughs> ah, goodness. Although it is my favorite po one of my favorite power-ups, so I love this thing. Of course! Report to the rear of the ship. Hurry! Hurry! Alright, let's go let's go and lay the smack down on ourselves a blue on a, on a little blue mouse, shall we? Someone who may or may not be related to Michael Mouse. He's not related to Michael Mouse. <laughs> That is something I love doing, alright, whenever I bring up, like, say, Disney stuff and Kingdom Hearts and all that stuff. Uh, whenever I'm talking about Mickey, I will sometimes just call him Michael. It will- it confuses the fuck out of people, and it's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is his name! He is Michael Mouse! Just people call him Mickey. Because they're taking the Mickey. Alright. Let's see how- if I can beat this without moving, shall we? Okay, so far so good. All right, beat him without moving. Easy peasy. <laughs> Fucking love these bosses. <laughs> They're effortless. Uh, goodness gracious. Stop, Mr. Robot. Hello, everybody. It's me, Michael. Ah. <laughs> uh. So one problem I used to have with Sonic Adventure DX that obviously is fixed now, right? You see that handle on Gamma's arm, right? For some reason, what I found in the past is that doesn't actually have a texture loaded. Like, the texture's bugged on some releases. So in a lot of versions, that's just a black triangle. And I, it used to bug the shit out of me. I don't know why it bothered me as much as it did, <laughs> but it did. It's one of those weird, like, weird little quirks I always noticed. Because to be honest, there's a surprising number of places in, like, Adventure DX where the texture is just missing from a model. Like, in Windy Valley, for instance, one of the entire platforms just straight up has the bottom texture missing. It's kind of nuts. Uh, 
Hydrate the sheep. No worries at all. Ah. Ah. I never thought of that. That is a good idea. Four minus two. Four minus two is two quick maths. <laughs> two plus two is four. Three minus one is wait. Four minus three is oh, fuck it. I can't, I forgot the lyrics. Two plus two is four. Four minus three is one quick maths. There we go. That's the one. Your man's not hot. Boom. What else was the lyrics? I haven't heard that song in a long time. It's it's a, it's a stupid fucking song. One day you should dress up as a sheep on stream. I've... Actually. Actually. Actually, give me a sec. I'm, go I'm gonna cook. Aha! It's funny how you say that. Because I... I'm gonna move backwards so you can get a better view. Have a sheep hat. I can look at this thing. It's beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. I love this thing. It. I would wear it on streams more, but it's like kind of awkward with the headset and everything. <laughs> uh, one day, maybe, maybe I'll get like a sheep onesie or something, and I'll go on stream and it'll be perfect. I'll be like, beep beep by my sheep. <laughs> Fucking hell! I haven't used that song in years. Beep beep by my sheep. I said beep beep by my sheep. The true wealth one. <laughs> I mean, I am the one well she- Oh my god, Gamma, are you alright? Are you, f you feeling okay there, buddy? <laughs> uh, alright, anyway. Now that we've done everything in the air carrier, we're going back. We're taking it back. Because uh, there is an optional power-up. You can, you can actually beat the game without ever going after this power-up, by the way. But I like to grab it, because it, it has a cool graphical effect when you shoot baddies that- uh, so if I go down here, where are the lifts? It's around you somewhere, right? Game? Maybe I was wrong about the lifts. Uh, either way. 20 years. I didn't know Cal knew each other long. What? I don't need to cover story. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in my mid 20. Hello? The true Welshman needs a love for sheep on his right. Hello? I'm saying that a lot, but that's, that's kind of literally the only reaction that's coming to my brain is, Hello? Ah, uh, gosh. Alright, let's go in here and get our next power-up. Boom. Completely optional power-up, you don't need to get this, but uh, I like it because it's a much cooler gun. Blaster. Oh. It's blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. It doesn't really affect anything, like, it, it's mostly just a cosmetic change. Um... But I do like getting this gun because it does do... It, it just looks pretty, alright? It looks cool. Don't judge me. I, I like cool-looking shit. <laughs> uh, it's only, what, like a five-minute detour? So wait, wait, where's, where's the raft? It's around here somewhere. The only problem is getting back to the raft. It can be a bit tricky sometimes. Uh, here it is. Hopefully this is the... Uh, in the thing. Is this the right one? Oh, it is. Perfect. Ah. I've known Cal since I started teaching jams. Wait, what? You, you, you have... Hello? I'm sorry to disappoint you, mate, but uh, we're not dating. I don't know if you knew this. I don't... Unless I'm misunderstand... Misreading. <laughs> I'm like, I think I think you might have deluded yourself there into something. <laughs> uh, right, time to get into the next day. Wait. Oh fuck! I need the Windy Valley key from the fucking the fucking the the Windy place. Tails is hot. There we go. Ah, uh, almost we go. You missed type because you're not six foot two. I was about to say. I know John is uh. I don't. I don't know if he's like. I don't know his exact size. He's a. He's a tall boy. He's taller than me. I don't know. I never actually. I don't think I've ever actually asked John what his height is. Maybe I should do that one day. All right, come on. There we are. 
Time to go. And this is why I got this power up. It just looks really fucking cool when you're blowing enemies up. It gives you this nice explosion effect. Ah. I used to remember having trouble with this level as well, weirdly enough, when I was a kid. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, child me had trouble with gamma stages, and I don't really know why, because, like, his stages are legitimately some of the easiest in the game. It's really weird. But I don't know. I was a kid. <laughs> what can I say? Great fun, though. Just, just you know, beelining through everything and just blasting things. There we are. Lovely jubbly. I think it's because of these bridges. What I used to do is I used to just not realize that I blow them up with my explosions, so I, I just died. Ah, goodness. Ah, you're on about your mate. Ah, I see. Tron's roughly the same height. Uh, oh, really? Is, uh, they're about the same height? Okay. Interesting. Anyway, that's another boss done. And I'll say all these, all these EU series robots, they're just... They're, they're, they're pish, mate. They're fucking pish. They're easy peasy. They get knocked down. Oh, they don't get up again, unlike that song. But yeah, we're, we're basically on the, the B line now to the end of uh, Gamma Story. Once we get to this point in the game, it is basically level, level, level until we've gotten to the end. So we're almost done. Like I told you, we'd, we'd be beating Gamma Story within the hour. I was correct. Well, you know. I like it when I'm right. <laughs> It doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, oh, makes me happy. Ah. All right, anyway, upsy daisy, and upsy daisy again. How's the doggos doing these days? They're doing well. Uh, still little shits. Gringo, uh, the oldest dog, is he's he's still a good boy. Milo's a little bit of a shit, but he's okay. Then the Chihuahuas. Like there was there was a Michael McIntyre uh, uh, comedy show I watched not long ago, right? Where he was talking about like dog breeds and what are the friendliest dog breeds to have, and he was, he was going through all the friendly dog breeds. And what he said that made me laugh out loud is the most fucking accurate thing I've ever heard anyone say. Where he was like, "You got all these lovely dog breeds, and then you got the Chihuahua." And I'm just like, yeah, the fucking true. The, the don't get a chihuahua. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my personal recommendation. They are fucking evil. <laughs> Every time I go up the stairs, I'm getting bit by one of them. Ugh. Never known dogs quite so nightmarish to, to own in my life. And I've owned a couple of dogs in my lifetime. Chihuahuas. Ugh. Fucking if evil bastards they are. <laughs> Uh, I like Michael McIntyre. I'm not sure if I typed his last name out right, but I, th I th yeah, it's it's Muck, but in, not Mac, but close enough. I wouldn't be able to type his name out probably myself, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think. I never really tried. I'm always too scared to get his name wrong. I like I like his stuff though. I, I I enjoy his comedy shows. But to be honest, I, I haven't really seen him about for a long while, now that I think about it. Like, when was the last comedy show he did? It must have been a good while back. Because I think the last comedy show I watched from him was like a couple of years old. I don't know. Right, let's go blast this bastard. Oh. I'll tell you guys one game I'm looking forward to as well to uh, trying out, which it looks really fun. This new Sonic mobile game, uh, Sonic Rumble. Right, uh, I've watched some people who've gotten into the beta uh, streaming it, and the game looks really good fun. It it looks slow, but it looks fun, so I, I, I kind of am going to be grabbing that once it releases. I just kind of livid the beta for that was US only, otherwise, so oh, what that fun. Uh, I think it's chat room with friendly respawn mistakes. I mean, I, I never bother. I can I can barely read half your messages anyway. I read half your messages and <laughs> my mouth is making typos. <laughs> it's the way it goes. E Delta. E but Epsilon. I digress. <laughs> mission accomplished. E Zeta. Twenty minutes. E yeah, we can beat this in twenty minutes. Oh, and thank you for the cheeky little bitty. Oh, lovely jubbly. 
board the egg carrier. Alright, oh, once we go, I wonder actually, is the, is the Master Emerald there right now? So here's the weird thing, the Master Emerald. Gem, a jewel of unlimited power. Dr. Eggman would love to get his hands on it. I'm one of Eggman's robots. Here I am, casually walking up to the Master Emerald altar. And Knuckles isn't here. Like, what's stopping me from stealing this? I mean, there is a chunk missing out of it, but see, apart from that, like, what is stopping Gamma from stealing it? It's still probably powerful, even if it's slightly less powerful without the chunk, right? Hmm. Interesting stuff. Oh well. On oh, once we go. Oh, I don't like the I don't like the sound effect it makes when you're going at full speed to scan, but it's kind of Ugh, oh, that's kind of ear piercing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go at not full speed. It it, it sounds awful. Ah, goodness. Yeah, now Cal, he'll let you know immediately if you get something anything wrong. I mean, I kind of like that uh, Cal lets me know whenever I get things wrong. So, I I make mistakes on my spelling all the time, and I I don't mind it. I, I actually quite like it, because then I can go, oh shit. E data. Yeah, the Mystic Ruins track is really good. I love it. Uh, coming to knock your door sometime next week. As you want to see your dogs, and say hi. I have to be in and be ready to. But I can't guarantee I'll be in because <laughs> I'm I'm barely home anymore. I literally I'm uh, last week I haven't been home. The week before that I haven't been home. I mean I, I've been home for the days I'm streaming, but that's about it really. Uh, you can message first. Uh, I could, that's probably the best bet. That way I can make sure I'm in. Although, I'm not entirely comfortable with seeing the dogs. Uh, because... Not so much Gringo. Gringo I'm okay with. And Milo was a bit more of a question mark. But I worry about the dogs biting her. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit wary about that. Because they, like... They're bastards. <laughs> so I'm unsure if it's a good idea. Dogs can oh, answer the door. I mean, they fucking might as well answer the door with how loud they are. <laughs> oh, gosh. Won't the dogs be like bark, bark, bark to each other? Oh, they're, they're, they're like that anyway. The, the whole reason why I have an audio filter on my stream to stop, like, loud noises of certain varieties going through is because of my dogs. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't have an audio filter on my stream, which... I wish I didn't need to have because it cuts me out sometimes when I'm making a loud noise. There's a couple of streams now where I've screamed and it's just completely cut it out. I'm like, well, that that removed that, that removed the entertainment value <laughs> a little bit because I know some people like seeing the screens. Uh, she might be okay. You should see my other uh, dog. She hugs. That's the problem, though. I I'm really really wary with them. Because, like, they, they, they're quite nippy. They can they can be quite nippy. In fact, they've hurt me uh, quite a few times. Uh, and I mean they have they have genuinely hurt me a few times, so... Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I'm a bit cautious, to say the least. Alright, there we go. Dog smaller than it should be a bit better. Uh, but we can do the introduction stage. Maybe. We'll 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 see. I'm 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 not too comfortable about it, so we'll have to see how things go. Well Beautiful. I mean they're not really even really technically my dogs anymore. It's <laughs> like the the fam they're the family dogs. Alright. Beautiful. Onwards and upwards. This is one of my favorite stages, by the way. I absolutely love this level. It's a it's a good fun one. What can we say? What can I say? Indeed. Oh gosh. Uh, meet up outside with. Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I again, it's all a strict maybe, just because I don't even know when I'm going to be home next. Probably. Excuse me. 
There we go. Grab the grab the thing with the claw. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> Dogs answering the door. We're not fucking it. You know what? Yeah, that I believe that's hundred percent them. That's what they're like. <laughs> Seriously, I just need to walk outside and the dogs will go absolutely ballistic barking like mad. It's 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 beyond. In fact, I came home last night, right? Um and well the very first thing that one of the dogs did was bite me. I uh, was not happy about that. <laughs> but then the other dogs are just barking and wouldn't leave me alone. It was, it's chaos with them. It's chaos. If anyone wants my advice when it comes to dogs. Don't get four of the fuckers. <laughs> you know, get get a reasonable number, like two. Two dogs. You can manage two dogs. Two dogs are good. You get four of them. It's hell on earth, mate. Hell on earth. Ah. Yeah, it's best to message first at the very least. Uh you had a dog. Ooh! What what breed? What breed, Grant? I'm curious. Cause for me, my dog's like, you know, I got a Jack Russell, Jack Awawa, and then two Chihuahuas. The Jack Russell is the—he's the good boy of the group. He's, he's the well, he's an old man now, but <laughs> he's the one that generally behaves the most. Jack Awawa is like scared of everything, and the Chihuahuas, demons incarnate, is what they are. Demons incarnate, indeed. Ah. Right, anyway, time to take on E105 Delta. Who, any of you who have a keen eye will notice he has Sega Dreamcast on his body. Which is a kind of a really cool little detail. I'm wondering, is that detail still in the GameCube version or did they remove that? Because sometimes they remove like details when it comes to consoles and like ports. I'd have to look that up, I'm not entirely sure. I'll be honest, I don't know because I'm terrible breeds, but I think he was a la I think it was a Labrador. Ah, I see, lovely, fair enough. To be honest, I'm kind of terrible with breeds myself. I only I only know what breed of a dog if someone tells me most of the time. So I get you. I get what you mean. <laughs> Thirty-four. All right. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, to end Gamma Story. Of Sonic Adventure. Oh, nice and delicious. Zeta rescue complete. Oh God, remaining. I'm sweating. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take this off in a bit. <laughs> I know for a fact it wasn't like a German Shepherd or sausage dog. That's a breed I've always wanted. I always wanted to have a sausage dog. They're adorable. Every time I see them as well, like, um, I saw one of them on a, the other day when I went to the shops, like, I think someone in the neighborhood, not necessarily my neighbor, had one, and they were walking it, and I'm just like, oh, look, <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Ah, his name is Ben, such a cool dog. Ah, lovely. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love my dogs. Uh, it's just, well... It's just they can be a pain. They're, they're a handful, really. That, that, that's the biggest issue on my dogs. Otherwise, I do love them. You know. All right, there we go. So, final boss for Gamma. Now, Beta here is a pretty simple boss. He has a very simple pattern. He will shoot missiles out at you, blow them up. He will try and charge you, shoot him as he charges you. Easy. That's that's, that's it, really. He does have a couple of different moves. Like he's gonna have little sequences where. Well, right by here, for example, where he's going to shoot like this big fuck off laser blast, but it's easy to dodge. And. Ah! Fucking hell, he blasted me! What a bell! <laughs> right. I'd like to get a cat one day. Cats can be pretty chill. Um, I like cats. To be honest, cats are a lot easier as well than dogs to uh, take care of, because most of the time you can just let them vibe. And they're content most of the time. They'll take care of themselves for the most part, as long as you just get a litter tray or something. And All right, every cat I've had anyway has been really chill and just sort of vibed around the house. <laughs> you got a cat called Bandit. Oh, that's a cute name. Oh, lovely. 
We have a cat and she's a fucking psycho. That is true. I guess it just depends on the type of cat. Like every cat I've had, we've never we never got or raised from like a kitten. Um, it's kind of weird. Every time we get a cat on the house, we kind of adopted her. Like, it came off off the streets for the most part, and it just all adopted us, which I find cats do a lot. <laughs> uh I miss my last cat, though, Fluffy. He was a good boy. He was a big fluff ball. I haven't seen him in a long time, though. There we are. Gamma story is done and dusted. And remember how I said that I cried when I was a kid on this? Well, that last fatal blast Gamma there is probably going to give away why I cried. Because, uh... Well, it's not really sad, because really, Gamma's just being free of his metal shell. But, y you know... Technically, he dies, and it's sad. What can I say? You know, Bandit has a badass name. He's literally a definition of a pussy because he's scared of the law of things. I think a lot of cats can be like that. It's like, I know cats generally have an instinctive fear, like cucumbers, because they look like snakes. So I know if you put, like, a cucumber down behind a cat when it's not expecting it, it will fucking freak the fuck out. It doesn't like it. It thinks it's a snake. I don't... I, it's just a weird thing. Uh, she's a black cat who's supposed to be chilled up, but completely the opposite. Oh, no. <laughs> I still love Grant's reaction to the ending of Amy's story. Why? What was his reaction like? I'm curious. Oh, this, 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 this made me sad, though, back in the day. They play the lovely piano piece as well. I was like, oh. She just turns and looks, then walks away. <laughs> oh gosh, wow. Oh, the one where the bird died because it fell. Oh gosh! I know the moment. I know the moment. It's like right after... Is he... It's... Is it... I think it's right either before or after the fight with Zero, isn't it? He's sipping his drink and then stopped and stared in disbelief. Oh, wow! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, there we are, ladies and gents. That's Gamma's story done and dusted. Oh, lovely jubbly. Which means now, to finish off this game, we got Knuckles' story and Super Sonic, I believe. I th Oh, and Amy. And Amy. We got Knuckles, Super Sonic, and Amy to finish off. Which I think we can probably do next week. Uh, yeah, I think, that, I think that can be done next time we stream this. Hydrate the sheep, no worries at all. Oh, lovely jubbly. I was legit like, wait, I do all of that and the bird fucking dies. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> I wish I was there to see that. That would have been, would have been brilliant. It kind of reminds me, I can't remember what game it was. There's a clip I remember of some streamer. I don't even know what the streamer's name. But it was a game where there was a streamer who saw a bunny rabbit. And, like, the bunny rabbit gets hit by an arrow and she just goes, ah! So it kind of reminds me of that. God, what was that? Was that Last of Us? It might have been Last of Us. I'm not sure. I don't know the streamer outright, though. It's a clip I just remember seeing fucking everywhere when it was a rout. Ah, how else? I digress. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Indeed! Mm, yes! Oh, cool beans! Oh. Ah. But no, I mean, I'm enjoying this playthrough. It's been a really chill one. I kind of. I don't know, I, I do think I go back to this game like once every year or so. Although it's kind of strange, because I feel like me doing this playthrough is going by a lot slower than it normally does in most years. I, it could just be because I'm doing it like every week or so apart. I skipped last week as well, so that doesn't help. So maybe that's why. But... I don't know. This is still probably up there as my favorite 3D Sonic game. Uh, I do like Frontiers. It comes really, really fucking close. But Frontiers is a harder replay, I find, than this. Because this, I can replay and get the game done in a matter of hours, and it'll be done. Frontiers, I find, 
It's such a fucking expansive game. If I want to sit down and play Sonic Frontiers, I need to dedicate a bit of time to it, you know? So I think because of that reason, Adventure One Edge is out to me. As much as I fucking love the, the, fightings, the fighting in Frontiers, I love the battle mechanics. Uh, probably retry Frontiers on your next stream. Ooh, go for it! What are your thoughts on Frontiers, Grant, out of what you've played? I don't know if you've actually played it all. Because uh, I, I love the game. Uh, I know John fucking despises the game. Well, I say despise. He's enjoying his time up until a certain point. Then he just completely stopped. You do need to finish it off. Ah, I see. Yeah. It's kind of a weird one. Like, John really despises the game. I like it. I like it. I understand his complaints, though, because most of his complaints aren't sort of problems for me anymore, but they were when I first played the game. That's because I learned to work around them, which I find with a lot of Sonic games. There's a lot of Sonic games I find where there's a lot of problems with the gameplay in a lot of them, and I, I just know the workarounds, so they're no longer problems for me. And that's something I tend to sometimes forget with new players playing the games, you know, like people going in to say, you fucking, what's up? Oh, Sonic Go 6 is a perfect example. You know, you go into that game for the first time, you're going to have some shit. But I can work around the problems. I can, I can avoid most of the bugs because I know about them in advance. It's one of those weird things. And you, sir... Hey, I just got my paycheck. I was feeling generous. Got to donate $300 when I saw something on my bank. Have a great day. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I, I don't actually know if that's a boss. A, a boss? A bot? I have no idea. But thank you. You really don't have to do that. Oh, I still don't forgive Giganto. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were stuck in Giganto for a long time. And hey there, wise little elf. Welcome, welcome as well. That's sus. <laughs> Nope, not a bar. Oh, cool. Ah, excellent. I'm off as putting those kids to sleep now. Ah, no worries. I was actually just winding down for the stream as it goes. Um, don't donate to this guy. He's a known racist in the 4chan community. Uh, I'm working on an expose on him. I'm a known racist. I'm not even that well known. I'm I'm so confused. <laughs> like hello. Ah <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm ending off the stream now anyway because uh, I'm basically done with what I was planning to do for this stream. So with that, lady, I have no idea what's going on, Grant. I fucking. <laughs> anyway, with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish. I shall hopefully catch you all again tomorrow where I continue with... I forgot. What was I playing? Is the only problem with doing these streams like two weeks in advance. I always forget what I was playing. Um, well... Yeah, thanks to, thanks to the, the, the band thing there. And I am not having the Heil Hitler thing in here either. You, sir, can fuck right off. Uh, wait, does someone ban him already? Oh, no, you banned him already. All right, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, see you guys again. Thanks for watching, and uh, I shall hopefully catch you all again. Bye. Not boss, just assholes. Yeah, you get them from time to time. It's you give or take, really. But, yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> see you after. Ta-ta. <laughs>